Today I have a few shop updates and we're going to change the oil on my 2012 Grand Sport. All right, so one quick update about the Mustang. We did order the transmission and some other stuff. Um, the drive shaft came in from D&D Performance and hers, and it's a Dynotech drive shaft. So we're excited to have parts start coming in and get started on the Fox body. And we also ordered a 125,000 BTU heater for the shop. We actually uh, wanted to get this done in February when we had that cold snap because we have a home gym back here and we work on cars in here. But um, it's April now and we're finally getting around to that. So we're also putting some paint on the walls of the shop. Um, as you can see before, it's this kind of like ugly yellow from just the bare insulation. Uh, so we're painting it all a light gray. All right, so we got the car up on the lift and before it goes up in the air, we're gonna pop the hood and take the oil cap off. Three days later. All right, so this is the first time we've had this car on this lift. It's kind of cool to see under here. It's really clean, actually. Um, so we're going to get started with the drain plug here. All right. We need one of those stick oil pan thingies like the actual mechanics have so I don't have to hold a bucket up here, but here we are. All right, so all the oil's drained out of it. Now we're gonna put the oil plug back in and tighten it up so we don't forget about it. All right, taking off the oil filter. My hand's greasy. Well, that didn't go as planned. Apparently oil filters are very slippery. My hand was greasy and now the shop floor is oil all over it. So I'm gonna show you anyway, it's okay. I'll just be down here cleaning this up. All right, now that we got that out of the way, I'm gonna wipe the oil filter plate off, make sure the gasket's not stuck to it, which it's not. And then we're gonna put the new oil filter back on. I always use Mobile One stuff, I just like it.
All right, so it's time to put the oil back in. This car takes six quarts, so we're gonna have one of, one of these and then a little bit of another one. So this is tough to hold. I'm gonna have to just dedicate myself. All right. All right, so we just put five quarts in. We're gonna check the dipstick to see where we're at. Looks like we're pretty close, maybe just a little bit more. Just a little dash. Okay. All right, now we're gonna start it up and do a leak check. It'd be easier to do this if there wasn't oil all, all over the floor already, but. All right, we're gonna check the oil one last time before getting it off the lift. All, right, all good. All right. So as you can see, there's some little wood ramps under there because the car is so low with the side skirts and the splitter that we had to do that. Sometimes having a lower car is no fun. So we use those wood ramps to get the front of the car high enough, but to get the arms out of the back, we have to jack up the back. All right, so the oil has changed, kind of an arduous process with the lowered car, but uh, now we're gonna take it for a spin and settle the suspension. So I forgot to mention this in my outro, but definitely stay tuned to the channel and subscribe if you get a chance because we're going to be starting on my 92 Fox body project with the 5.0 swap. So that's going to be really interesting to keep up with. And we'll be doing intermittent uh, projects and little things with other cars in between. So definitely subscribe and see you next time.